Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Rachel Janetti, and I'm back with another video in my bedroom because it's way too cold downstairs and the heater is a little less loud. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about a pretty big issue for me. I, um, I am not looking at the viewfinder at all. But today we're going to be talking about this uh, big issue for me because it's uh, part of my job and something that I'm really passionate about that my teacher has recently brought to my attention. I'm sorry, this is going to be more of a serious video, kind of a rant video, so if you don't like that, I have so many other videos. They'll be, it, well, the description is down here, so you'll go there. But today we're talking about the Academy Awards and the recent drama going on with them. I don't expect many people to know about this. To me, it was a very important issue. So I'm going to read the article. So I'm going to read the article. So I'm going to read the article to you on the Academy Awards and what they've been doing. Sorry, my cat is right down here. He's trying to climb on my book and I don't want him in the shot. So I'll put that right here. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has reversed its controversial decision to hand out four Oscars during the telecast commercial breaks. Following a Thursday night meeting with top cinematographers, Academy leadership including President John Bailey and CEO Don Hudson have pledged to air every awards category on the live show a week from Sunday. Good job. The Academy has heard the feedback from its membership regarding the Oscar presentation of four awards, cinematography, film editing, live action short, and makeup and ha hairstyling. All Academy Awards will be, dis will be presented without edits in our traditional format. We will look forward to Oscar Sunday, February 24th, an Academy statement said. The Academy stood firm for days against backlash from filmmakers across four categories and their peers. So what's going on? Before we get into the rant, he wants to say hi. Why do you always do this when I'm filming videos? So there's this deal with like what is going on in this article. We don't know what, well, I haven't explained to you what is going on yet. And I'm going to tell you right now. I do not believe that this was intended to trim the time of the Academy Awards. I'm just gonna put it out there. I know it's not a conspiracy theory. I just think that their motives were not as clear as they said they were. Cutting out cinematography, hair, editing, as well as another, oh, short films, live short films. Cutting out of those four categories of the live awards show is a erasure. These are important topics that you need to discuss when you're discussing the entirety of the movie industry of Hollywood. Without, can I just say, without cinematography, without short films, where would you begin? A lot of people start with short films because they're easier to do, they're more attainable. I know various uh, studios that have been created making short films and one of my personal friends, she owns her own studio and she went to con last year because of her short films. And without recognizing those categories, without recognizing editing, without recognizing hair, makeup, without recognizing cinematography and short films, you're not going to have as much turnout for those subjects. And what I mean by that is that you're not going to have as many people wanting to go into those subjects because they're not being recognized. You don't know how many people I know in film school that's like, that are like, oh, I want to be a director. Oh, I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress. That's all well and good, but I want to be an editor and nobody really remembers them. When you watch a movie at home, do you comment on uh, Brad Pitt or do you comment on the editor that made that scene? Because without editing, without cinematography, without the people behind the camera, without the people who behind, were behind the computers that made them, you're not going to have the movie. You're not going to have Fight Club. You're not going to have old, No Country for Old Men. You're not going to have Harry Potter. Without those people, without the recognition that comes from those people, you're not going to have movies. I know the Academy Awards is not the biggest award ceremony. I know there's Emmys and there's Oscars, but I I still think it's a very high profile thing to cut out 
especially when you need editors more than ever because more people than ever are making movies, are making YouTube channels, are making short films. They didn't cut the animated short films, which didn't make any sense to me because why would you cut live action short films and not cut animated short films? And then I remember, I believe there's a Disney one that is nominated for the animated short films. Trim timing is something that can be fixed by holding the awards beforehand and editing like the acceptance speeches. It's a simple fix. You can change something like that and you can prevent all of these issues with just trying to- sorry my cat is pawing at my closet- fix them in post-production. The Academy Awards are incredibly dull, but I do know that editors and cinematographers and makeup artists and hair hair artists, hairstylists, and short film auteurs deserve to be recognized. Without people like them, without people to, to work the cameras, without people to work the editing booths, no one would be there to finish the movie. I realize that many people may not care about this. This might not be the most clicked on video that I ever make. I don't care. Without being recognized, not enough people are gonna go into that a field to make it a sustainable field. How many editors can you name right now? I know if my teacher's watching this, he'll name like 10, but like, not including you. You can't name any, can you? Maybe Walter Murch or Thelma Schumacher. It's because people aren't recognized for this. I want to applaud, especially YouTube, for once they're doing something right. YouTube has been this uh, beacon of hope for people like me, people like editors, people who are very small creators who have the opportunity to get very big while also having a sustainable career on the side. Like, you can have a job and do YouTube. People like Shane Dawson's channel, like um, him and Andrew, they're bringing back the notion that an editor is always behind the camera, no matter if it's just you doing it or you have help. Like, there's always an editor there, unless you're Trisha Paytas because she doesn't really edit her videos, but that's a side point. People need to recognize that is an important job. It's important to every film that you make and taking that out of the equation of any award show, whether that be the Emmys, the Golden Globes, the Academy Awards. It's just gonna destroy the field. Because if you're not gonna be recognized, then people don't think you're as important. That's just as simple as that. I wrote down here, I have my little notebook. Erasure of the workings of film will create a domino effect that may kill film itself. Shorts, editing, cinematography, and makeup all greatly contribute to the workings of film. Behind the scenes is just as important as what goes on in the scene. I know as an editor you can make a horrible, horrible scene look decent just by tweaking a few things in post-production. That's just something that's very important for me, very important to me. Not enough people actually notice. People don't have an appreciation for something like editing, like cinematography, like hair and makeup. It's hard to do hair. Do you see this? I look like Hermione Granger in first year. Like, it's not easy to do what people do, especially not in the Hollywood industry. It's a hard industry and it literally can kill you, really damage you mentally and physically. Taxing jobs, that's what these are. Taxing jobs that deserve credit as much as best actor and best actress because they're as much behind the film as the director. They take the director's creative vision and they make it into a reality. They are a team. No job in the film industry can be done alone. You cannot make a film with just you. It's kind of what I'm doing right now, isn't it? This isn't a really good film. You need help. Before I got into film class, I did not know a single thing about film. My teachers were the ones that helped me. My friends were the ones that helped me. They were like my directors and I was the editor. Erasure of this kind of thing, and I know they reinstated it recently, but the notion of them doing it in the first place is just 
upsetting. I don't want to say it's entirely infuriating, it's upsetting. I know that people don't appreciate the craft, and by doing this, you devalue the craft even more. And if you guys need clarification on any of these points, I will gladly tell you. Remember your editors. Remember your cinematographers. Remember your hairstylists. Remember your short film auteurs. Without people like them, without people supporting them, without people wanting to do that, wanting to be in that field, you're not going to have the field itself. I am sorry this was like a rant video. This was a very important topic to me. I love this topic. I love editing. I just don't feel like that was the right decision and I'm not quite sure what their motives were for that because I can assure you they could have cut time various ways. You don't have to have a live show just because you've always had one. And I'm sorry that this was a rant video. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. My Instagram and Twitter will be linked down below. They're also linked on my main channel page if you just click the buttons and like, I think it's the top right corner unless you're on mobile then just click the link. <laughs> it's Rachel Gennetti on everything. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post video updates and I say when I post my videos if you don't have like notifications on, which you should have on. Hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already because that would greatly be awesome. Thank you. I think I'm gonna be filming in here a little bit more because I like it in here. <laughs> Bye guys. I still look like Cousin It. I love you. Peace out.